What's going on? My name is Thomas Park. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about some massive changes to the tier list. Now I've been thinking of these changes for quite some time. Um, I actually changed the tier list like a month or two ago and did some updates. And now this is probably one of the bigger changes we've done in quite some time. Usually I would kind of reserve a change like this for every year or so. I kind of look at the tier list, I take feedback, and I kind of restructure some of the rankings and stuff like that, or some of the point system. But this time I wanted to do, do, do it now. I didn't really want to wait till next year. And I think this new tier list system we have for the VPNs and the rating system in the tables is probably one of the best and most comprehensive ones we've had so far. So guys, without further ado, let's introduce you to the VPN tier list 6.0. But I want to show you the patch notes because I think that's the easiest way to kind of discuss what has been added. So if we take a look at the patch notes here, which you can always find on vpntierlist.com, by the way, we have a list of the updates that I added this month. So we pretty much added some requirements for the streaming compatibility section, which I think has been needed for some time. I added a section right here that is requires for streaming to be built in automatically. This is primarily gonna hit some VPN providers like TorGuard, which require you to buy a residential or dedicated IP to work with streaming, and they limited it to two regions, which is again, why we have now support for five plex regions requirement if a, a VPN can unblock that. So TorGuard is gonna lose four points there, and most other VPNs are gonna be able to get those points if they work with streaming, However, some VPNs don't, like Movad, iVPN, and a couple of other ones that specifically don't care about streaming compatibility at all, or unblocking geo restrictions, accessing different Netflix regions with Netflix. Now, some people don't really care about that. Some people just want to download Linux ISOs, and that's completely fine. But it is a new kind of category here. We're kind of stricting up things, making things stricter and more accurate. So another thing we did is... Um, we kind of changed the, the professionalism or the kind of review process criteria of the tier list. This is one section that kind of implements um, the kind of professional relationship I have with the various VPN companies. Now, there are some companies out there that have tried to spread misinformation, encourage harassment through indirect means through the tier list, and that's definitely a no-go. Those companies are going to lose full points. And then there's been some other cases of companies kind of behind the scenes asking me to take down videos, take down certain reviews and stuff like that, which is definitely a no-go. I'm not gonna go into the specifics of that here on the channel, uh, just to keep things professional and protect my legal liability. Um, but we have kind of subtracted some VPNs and some of the points there, um, just based on some of those things, um, because it is kind of a process here on the channel where we kind of want to think about VPNs and how they deal with content based on them their response to criticism at the end of the day should be very good. They should say, hey, you know, we welcome this feedback. How can we improve? We're implementing your improvements, these kind of things. Now, I think you guys understand why that's something we're looking for. So that's kind of something we're kind of thinking about going forward with that review process. And I think that's fair to think about. Um, one of the biggest changes we did make is added requirements for new features. Now, some of these things aren't really directly related to VPN. However, that said, I do think the VPN marketplace is changing and evolving and implementing new kind of features. And I think that is not necessarily a bad thing. I think at the end of the day, when you're buying a VPN, you're trying to increase your privacy and anonymity online. And certain VPNs definitely are starting to branch out into other categories. And I think for the most part, these categories, if they're implemented with a VPN in a good deal, there is an increased value proposition. If you could get VPN, password manager, um, antivirus, some of these things at a cheaper price than you could with other providers and it's good products, then I think it's a good thing. And that's kind of what we're gonna be looking for going forward. Uh, we're gonna be looking at VPN routers. Does the VPN sell their own version of a router? TorGuard and ExpressVPN, OVPN do this. Most other VPNs kind of do it third party. Um, does the VPN have any interest in cloud apps? TorGuard, for example, is a VPN that has a application you can host on their kind of network that lets you run a Raspberry Pi kind of pie hole kind of thing and do really cool ad blocking. So that's neat. Some VPNs now have integrations with password managers. NordPass is one and a couple of VPNs have other ones that are actually pretty good. Um, some have encrypted storage options, Nord Drive, Proton Locker, kind of things like that. Some even have encrypted email offerings and bundles that you could take advantage of, Proton Mail, TorGuard's Private Mail, a couple of others maybe are out there. Antivirus, if the VPN has integrated some kind of white labeled antivirus, 
Take for example, Surfshark has a Vera antivirus, which if you look at the scores of the testing and stuff like that for antivirus, it scores pretty well. So if you could get it bundled in for a good price, I think that's fair game. Next up, data breach alerts. These can be very handy to have just within a nice interface. Although you can use Hide My, um, Have I Been Pwned for free. Some things like Surfshark's data breach alerts are very convenient and useful though inside your account panel and it's a free bonus, so why not? Another cool thing is data broker removal tools. Not only really Surfshark and I think CyberGhost support this right now, um, but some VPNs are developing tools that complement VPNs that remove your IRL information so you don't get doxxed. Um, so not only protecting your IP, but protecting your real life information and address too, which is a good thing. Um, additionally, there's some also email alias features, which is really cool. And we've seen something like Surfshark take advantage of that and some other VPNs too that can do it through um, their encrypted email offering, private mail, proton mail, etc. So I ran through the changes pretty quickly and I, there's a wide kind of category now in the tier list of all these new features we're looking for. Um, you know, maybe six or seven extra points, uh, VPNs that really can give you that extra value proposition with bundles, I think is pretty good. We see that with Torger with specifically interesting things. We've seen it with their, um, they have their private mail, email drive, and they have some of those cloud apps and routers. We see it with something like Surfshark, I think is really good. They give you some data removal tools that you can bundle in, data breach alerts, some of those things like antivirus that they kind of white labeled uh, a Vera antivirus and it works really well, actually very lightweight. Um, something like NordVPN is also doing some of those things. Um, again, some VPNs like Proton too. So those are things you're gonna be kind of looking at going forward. Um, the VPN tier list, it, it's kind of expanded to encompass the VPNs and what they're doing. So that way we could kind of have the most kind of comprehensive reviews. Um, you know, at the end of the day, VPNs that only offer VPN, if they offer at the same price of another VPN, we could get all these extra things added in. You know, which one are you gonna choose? You're gonna choose the one that gives you the best value. And that's something we're always thinking about here on VPN tier list. Dot com and I hope that makes sense to you guys. All right, guys, so make sure to check out the new rankings if you want. I'll put a link in the description down below. Also, I have made a brand new quiz on the website which you could take that will take a selection of my top rated VPNs and tell you the one that's perfect for you in only one question. So go ahead and check this out. Also check out the rankings like I said, check out some of my top rated VPNs to see which one might be right for you. And I'll be in my Discord as well, just like usual, talking to anybody. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.